Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I really wanted to do a sit down talking video, get ready with me, with you guys. Today I'm going to be filming some content and taking some pictures and making some TikToks and getting some reels. Today's a content day for me. I've been taking content days really serious. But partway through starting my makeup, I decided I wanted to film this video. So I just wanted to film a quick intro for you guys. While you're here, you might as well subscribe to my channel, become a part of the family. I want to be a part of y'all family. We in this together. We're learning, we're growing, we're building together. So go ahead and subscribe and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up at the end if you liked it. And let's get into the video. So I was in the middle of doing my makeup when I was like, you know what, let's film a video because I want to talk to somebody right now and when you don't have nobody to talk to, why not talk to your YouTube family, right? So today I just really wanted to talk about, you know, the importance of self-love and how self-love ties into like every single part of your life, like literally. I want to talk about it because this is just like something I feel like I am being forced to grow in right now. Like this is an area that I am being forced to like tackle head on and just deal with, you know, certain triggers, whether that's in relationship, friendships, career, life, you know, like I just always found myself kind of like succumbing to the pressures of life and life is gonna happen regardless y'all like that's what i'm i'm learning is like life is hard like life is actually hard and it's hard for everyone like everyone has their their struggles honestly y'all this makeup um that i'm about to do is literally the exact same routine for the most part as um the previous video i just posted so um, if you guys want to watch that and get like, you know, in depth, what colors I'm using, how I'm applying it, etc., then you should go over and watch that on my channel right now. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you like it. But anyways, let me get back to my point because I really always get sidetracked. Um when i do these talking makeup videos which is why in my last one when i really wanted to be detailed i had to do a voiceover because i just get sidetracked and it's hard for me to get back on track when i'm sidetracked because i talk a lot so yeah but anyways back to what i was saying i feel like right now i'm being real like i'm being forced to kind of like heal from like everything i've been like kind of dealing with internally and i'm not gonna lie it's hard because i feel like especially being 23 so like i'm 23 and you know i'll be 24 in january which is just so freaking crazy to me because that's not that far away but and obviously okay 24 is still young blah 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 whatever but I personally just, I, like just for some background, all of my friends are older. All of my associates are older. My boyfriend is older. Like everyone around me is a lot older than me or even just a little bit older than me. But one to two years makes a huge difference. And every one of my friends are at least two, three, four, five, six years older than me. So, and like I've always been that way because I just have always been like super mature for my age. And um, so in result, I have a lot of older friends. So yes, I'm young. I don't feel young because all of my friends are grown and you know, they're in their careers and they're, you know, going through different stages and stuff of their life. But I'm just like, what am I doing? Like. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I compare myself because I'm very much, I mean, I do, right? Like, we all do. I do, but I don't do it in a way that's like, oh my God, 
I'm never gonna amount to anything because everyone else is, I'm not like that. I'm more so like, if so-and-so has it, why can't I have it? It's more of a motivating thing for me. Like, I just really be like, okay, well, like there's really no excuse. And in turn, I feel like that way of thinking, you know, like people be like, Okay, comparing yourself is the thief of joy, like comparison is the thief of joy, and you know, you'll drive yourself insane trying to compare yourself to someone else. I'm not comparing my life to nobody else, like I love my life, but I put a lot of pressure on myself because I feel like there's no excuse for me not to be where I want to be. You get what I'm saying? But then it's like so many other factors, there are so many other factors to getting to where you want to be like sometimes it's literally out of your control i mean it's always out of your control it's really god's timing like and that's what i'm trying to work on right now so on my journey of like self-love and how that ties into everything it's kind of just like when you love yourself you have like so much respect for yourself you hold yourself to a high standard and you have belief in yourself. And I think that's like the major key is like loving yourself so much that you believe you can do anything that you put your mind to. You're, you're capable of achieving whatever you put your mind to. And you know what I mean? Like you always expect the best out of life. You always want the best out of life. And then in turn, you attract the best out of life. Like. I feel like that's just, I just feel like that's just the biggest lesson I've learned and like that ties into relationships, that ties into friendships, like I've been learning a lot in my relationship, I'm not gonna lie, like on my, you know, healing journey, like you think you've worked on so many things, like when you're by yourself, like, I don't know, so like before I met my boyfriend, um, I literally... <laughs> Before I met my boyfriend, I was like on this, I was on a journey. We'll just say, I was on a journey. And that journey had me a year celibate, not talking to nobody. I look crazy right now. But that journey took me to a point where I was like, I don't want to talk to nobody ever again. I just want to focus on myself. And like, you know how everybody always says that after a relationship and then they get in another relationship or they have a little hope phase or whatever. But like, I really genuinely wanted to heal from my problems. I wanted to heal from my previous relationship. I just wanted to make sure that I was making myself the best me possible so that when someone was presented in my life, I was good to go. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not stressing. I'm not blah, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, I, I took a year. I worked on me. I worked on, you know, my confidence. Um, journaling, like establishing a routine. Focusing on my career. You know, I just started focusing on everything else but relationships and I really wanted to learn myself on a deeper level I wanted to really eliminate all outside factors like I don't want to date and like that kind of like take my mind off of like really focusing on like what do I need what do I want like what do I genuinely want so you know I get to a point where I'm like okay we're feeling great we're feeling great we're looking good, you know, careers in order, got a car, got a puppy, got my own apartment, like, you know, I was feeling really good, like, I'm, I'm really stable, like, I'm feeling like a grown woman, and then, um, I had a little phase in between, and, it made me realize that a lot of the things and especially getting in my relationship after everything so 
getting in my relationship, being in love again made me like made certain things kind of come back to the surface that I didn't know were still there. <laughs> like, and I think people say this a lot too, is like, that's kind of, kind of normal. Like relationships bring out things that you didn't even know were still there or things that like bother you. So now I'm kind of on a journey of like, trusting my partner and loving myself enough to kind of just like stop trying to control situations you get what i'm saying like and because like when you try to control a situation to the point of like you're doing too much like it ruin it, you end up like kind of like accidentally manifesting what you didn't want to happen you know what i'm saying so I'm at a point where I'm like, all right, now we gotta work on all of these new things that we didn't know were there and didn't know that we needed to still work on. But now it's like you're working on it with someone else. So I'm like getting back to what I used to be passionate about and like, you know, just working through it. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like everyone expects, like, the healing process to be, like, some, like, I journal for a week straight and boom, I'm healed. Like, no. And I think that's where a lot of us kind of, like, mess up, too, because we think, like, oh, I've been having an established routine for five months to a year and you know my physical health is is amazing my mental health is good like I have a good job blah 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 but healing is a forever thing <laughs> like I'm starting to learn that healing and like finding new ways to love yourself and like self-love is a forever thing because there's forever going to be cycles of life that are going to cause you to lose yourself, find yourself, reinvent yourself, rebrand yourself. Like, and I'm in the process of rebranding, reinventing, stepping into a new me, like stepping into a new woman. And I think the first step to like self love and like really finding this for yourself. I'm like big on like writing down stuff. So like, if you want to be a new you, right? Like if you want to be a better you, what does that you look like? What does she smell like? What does she do every day? Um, what is her routine on the weekends? Like, does she do Pilates? Does she work out regularly? Does she read? Is she spiritual? Like. What are what is the woman or man? Because I don't know who's watching this, but you know, what does the future you look like? What is like? What does it look like? Like to the T. Like plan it out, write it out. Like she only wears skims, like in the house. Like I don't know, because one of my goals for sure for myself is like being just put together in every aspect of my life. So like. I'm wearing matching sets in the house. Even if I'm not doing nothing all day, my hair is done. I'm wearing a cute set. You know, I'm going to sleep in some cute pajamas. Like, everything I have is just cute, put together. It all has a purpose and everything is like carefully thought out, but effortlessly. So that's, that's like, you know, just an example. Like, what does she wear? Like, what books does she like to read? What does she like to do for fun? What's her style? Like, I literally wrote out to the T. Where's my brush? I literally wrote out to the T what I envision myself being like and like what I envision I'm at, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what I envision myself doing with my life, like and I try every day to implement like small things to like work towards becoming that woman because eventually I'm gonna wake up one day and I'm gonna look around 
and I'm gonna think about everything and I'm gonna see where I'm at and see who I'm with and see what I'm wearing and see what I'm doing and being like, I wanted to be this girl a couple years ago. Like, I'm exactly where I wanted to be. And I feel like that always ends up happening but it gives you more of a sense of like peace and clarity when you have a plan and you're like, I'm working on this plan every day because you're like, okay, I'm being productive and eventually it's gonna have to work out. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just at that point where I'm like, all right, what can we do to put ourselves in a better position to win? and have success and be happy five, six years from now. Five, six years from now, I'm gonna be almost 30. That's crazy, because I'm still not even close. <laughs> like, my boyfriend only got five years left. I have like six, seven years till I'm, I have seven. I have seven years until I'm 30. So, it's like, what am I about to do with these next two years? these next three years what's my year plan what's my six month plan i just wrote out a six month plan yesterday i'm like something's gotta shake because i'm at a point where i love myself i'm feeling good i know what i deserve i'm not settling for anything less than what i deserve i'm manifesting everything positive that i want in my life i'm chasing my dream like i'm going after my goals head on like i'm doing everything that i'm supposed to be doing so, why not, why not just, forgot, I lost my train of thought. It's hard talking to myself for like 45 minutes. I wanna also talk about real quick like how this ties into other aspects of your life, like not just your relationship, like your friendships. Like I feel like when I was younger and when I was in college, I just came across a lot of like ingenuine like kind of like fake people and I was a very naive young like sweet girl from Washington like you know what I mean like if you guys have been here like I know some of my subscribers are probably here still from college and if you guys remember me in college I was so sweet like I just had no like I just had no clue like I had no clue like how people could be. Like, I think college was really like my first taste of like real life. Like not everybody's gonna like you, we told you. <laughs> because in high school and elementary school and middle school, I was always liked. Like I had very few enemies. Like I probably had like I had very few enemies, like, like none. <laughs> Everybody was my friend. I like grew up with everyone from like elementary school all the way up through high school. So like dealing with like fake energy or just fake people was never a thing for me, like ever. So going to college, I just was like super like, everyone's gonna be my friend. I'm just gonna be so happy. Life is gonna be so good and then life actually happens and then you're like so then you know dealing with all that energy and stuff like in college it caused me to kind of put a wall up when it comes to friends like so now i have a wall up with men now i have a wall up with friends and obviously you know everyone has their issues but sometimes i had a wall up with family so i'm putting a wall up with literally everyone in my life at this point and every like it, it could be the smallest thing that would make me be like oh now i'm second guessing this girl as a whole it could be someone i knew five six years it could be someone i just met last week it could be anybody like i was cutting everybody off like essentially everyone was getting cut off it doesn't matter it could be the smallest thing i see any type of like i'm not sure energy like you're getting cut off pretty much like that just that was me
which over time I'm starting to realize is like a literal direct trait from my mother. <laughs> my mom will cut anybody off, friends, family, sister, brother, cousin, aunt, whatever, like, that girl plays no games. So like, you know, I was getting in that era and I'm like, dang. But it's like, why? <laughs> you know, like I'm cutting everybody off. Like I'm starting to isolate myself. I'm starting to just really cut everybody out of my life. Like everybody was getting cut out of my life. Like it was like clockwork. Like it was so bad. And I had to realize like, girl, are these people really being bad people to you? Or are you overthinking yourself into a spiral? <laughs> because you're not sure in yourself or your abilities. You know what I mean? Like you have to take accountability sometimes and be like, all right, is everyone else around me out to get me? Or am I out to get me? Like, is it everyone else? Or is it me? Sometimes, someone just asked me if I'm going to homecoming and I'm so sad because I'm not. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to homecoming. That is so unfortunate because I told myself, it's so crazy for the past couple years, I literally was like, whenever we have a homecoming, like I'm not missing it for nothing. I don't care where I am, who I'm with, like I'm going to homecoming, like our first homecoming back from forever. Like I haven't been homecoming, I think it's since like my sophomore year of college. And I'm almost two years out of school now. It's just like crazy. But yeah, I'm like, Sometimes, like, okay, obviously, some people really got cut off because they were weird as hell and fake, like, you know, or had ulterior motives or whatever, but, or jealous or whatever the case may be. But some people, it's like, you know, I distanced myself from them for a while, and like, we, we rekindled and, like, you know, got back on good terms. But sometimes it's just kind of like, you get tired of distancing yourself and coming back because you're like, okay, I was tripping. All of that, all of that really just ties into your self-confidence because when you're not confident, then you start thinking kind of negative about everything. Then you start overthinking. Then you start overthinking yourself into this like bad mind space. And then you're like sitting there and then everything bad that you're not wanting to happen because you're thinking about that all the time ends up happening like but yeah everything you ended up not wanting to happen ends up manifesting itself into uh, like what you think your thoughts essentially run your life and what you do with your life so yeah i'm at a point right now where i'm like kind of like still in the in between phase of like getting out of that mindset and into a new mindset but like I said like working towards it every day and like journaling and like making sure that I'm attacking certain goals on a regular basis will help me achieve the outcome that I want so yeah that's it this was a very random rant <laughs> me just kind of talking about anything but my hair is done Faces beats. I'm excited to get some content, take some pictures, get some videos, make some reels. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to say anything back to what I was talking about, make sure to comment down below. I'll comment back. We'll have a cute little conversation. I think it'll be cute. Make sure to subscribe, like I said, to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All of that stuff will be linked in the description box down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.